Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Darren Kramer. Tonight, the first bit of intelligence recovered on the raid of Osama bin Laden's compound has been released. And it shows now that al-Qaeda was considering an attack on U.S. trains. Homeland Security officials say the plot was only in the very beginning stages, and there's no active plans for such an attack right now. But security officials at the state's train stations are vigilant. And News Ace Bob Wilson live for us tonight at the Bridgeport train station with more on what passengers are saying about this latest threat. Bob? Well, people on the trains and here on the platforms, they say they knew something was up, especially the day after they announced bin Laden had been killed. They say they noticed an increase of dog sniffing, uh, bomb sniffing dogs on the trains and on the platforms. And they say now that this new information has come out about what was in bin Laden's compound, they're keeping both eyes open. As the trains come and go throughout the night, it's what everyone is talking about. I think he had a plan to attack trains. I think it was, um, he wasn't finished with America. Is it worth me traveling into the city with all this chaos and all the terrorism? He's been planning on ways to attack here, you know, this country for a long time. The CIA says the data recovered from the hard drives in bin Laden's Pakistani compound show ideas and ways to attack America's rail system. The date? the 10th anniversary of September 11th. Former National Security Advisor Richard Clark says the rail system is an easy target. You can't guard hundreds of miles of track. And if they can get to one location that's not well guarded and put uh, explosives on it or do something to cause the, the train to derail, uh, that's a lot easier than going after an aircraft. So Homeland Security has sent out word across the country and people have noticed the heightened security ever since bin Laden was killed. And I do see in New Haven where there are police officers with dogs patrolling around. The dogs are very friendly, they're not vicious at all. And uh, they're sniffing and just, you know, there. He just came in from cart to cart with a sn bomb sniffing dog, I guess that's what he was. Um, yeah, and it just, everyone started talking and like you hear the whispers and I guess it struck fear in everyone once we saw that. Right now the government says the patrols are just a precaution and just one of many sides to security. Homeland Security goes well beyond the train station and most passengers we talk to say they do feel safe. But I have confidence in our people here. You know, we can't stop life and, you know, sit at home twiddling our thumbs wondering when it's going to happen. That's a good attitude. Now the MTA put out this reminder. They say, quote, this is another reminder that our transit system remains a top target and we must always remain vigilant. While there is no specific threat, we remain at high alert in coordination with our local, state, and federal law enforcement partners. As always, we remind our customers to inform a police officer or an MTA employee if there is anything unusual. People say they've already been doing that. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Bridgeport, News 8.